Hey YouTube, this is JVT Guns, or JV for short, back at you with another video. And in today's video, we have a redo of the my cardboard M16A4 assault rifle. So, here's a close up for y'all. Some time ago, I did a video of the gun the first time. It was, I think, in 2021. But in today's video, this is showing a newer, well, it's still the same M16. It just it has some modifications. Rather than just sit here and tell you all of them, we'll just run it back all the way and show you that what's all in the gun, what the gun got. So we have this trigger, like always. We have the sights. We have a magazine release and magazine. We have a newly detailed dust cover and an ejection door and a new charging handle with a new spring there and new to this m16 is a removable stock piece it's just one of the many improvements of the gun it has a tack rails and a newly improved handguard Yeah, that's all that's really new to the gun. Um, I did try and clean up the gun. I added a whole new upper receiver and such. I made those modifications. Who knows when? Because I honestly don't remember when I made those modifications to this gun. So as you can see, I have a couple of attachments laid down. And it's time to show something. So, first we're gonna take off this carry handle. That actually does stick to the gun. I'm gonna add a rear sight. We'll add it on. And this is what it looked like. Then you aim down. Kind of blurry and unfocused. I'm sorry about that. Since this is a flip side, we'll just flip it down. We're gonna add this holographic sight, like so. I mean, this is actually a cool sight. It actually looks cool in the gun. It looks better than something like the 4x scope. And we got a reticle for this as well. Pretty, to me, is pretty cool. You know, I still prefer the holographic though, just for looks. But we have a full grip for, you know, the bottom. And we have this weird prototype laser that I made. I really don't know when I made this, but it's just there to give the gun a little more of, mm, appeal. Also, I have a second magazine attachment. Not mag second magazine attachment, but a second magazine. And the form of this mag form is it. And there we go. But we also have this other thing on here in the form of a grenade launcher. You know, an M16 can't be M16 without it. So I'm just gonna take it off from there. 
literally chassis or something we call it. And we're gonna pat this straight onto the gun. And there you go. That is the M16 with the grenade launcher. I do have the grenade launcher sight also on this little chassis like I showed in the other grenade launcher video. Except it looks ugly and it looks even worse on the M16, so I'm gonna just leave it off right now. So we shooting. I do have another setup for the M16, and this time I'm just gonna kit out the whole entire gun. So let's start by just taking everything off. Stop. And here, I'm gonna start by adding the stock, the crane stock. Looks kind of weird, long barrel and crane stock. I have this small magazine. We have this little grip again. Also, something I built specifically for this is a bipod. Just gonna add it onto the front. The laser. The suppressor. And a rear, rear sight. A new scope that I've also made just for this. And also because the scope has a reel on top, a red dot. This is now effectively a DMR setup to the M16. And it's quite heavy. By the way, it's mostly heavy in the handguard. I don't know. I don't really know why it's heavy in the handguard. Technically, Technically, this is not a Mark 12. I forgot the name of it, but it is still a pretty cool gun. It's still cool this way. So we'll take a look at that on the site, the scope. And then we look at the red dot. Just do semi. That is that setup for this gun. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video and you thought this was quite an interesting one. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing this and I was really happy to modify the gun. And I really love how I did this as well. But I hope you feel the same way. You know, if you like this video, you know, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below any suggestions and comments, critiques, your thoughts basically anything just anything as far as i'm concerned subscribe if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content and turn on post notifications to so you'll know when i upload also follow me on instagram where i'm posting a lot of drawings and stuff i post periodically but that is it y'all thank you for watching thank you to anyone watching this video and until next time y'all be safe be careful and peace out.